My name is Alers, and I will tell you about Faster. We live in a competitive environment with information flow increasing twice every year. It's confirmed by research. Many people read for education or business to catch up with the industry and not to fall behind the competition. But our time still remains a limited asset. The lack of time to cover all the reading materials that we have resulted in an idea to improve human reading capabilities. So we created FASTER, a speed reading application for iPad which can improve your reading speed <coughs> while retaining a high level of text comprehension. It is being achieved by processing the text for different way of display. In FASTER, text is being displayed like slides in PowerPoint presentation Several words per screen, screens are being changed automatically. Reader looks at the center of the screen to avoid eye movement, and all these things together increase, let you increase the reading speed. We created an app which gives the reader a freedom to choose the content. This is crucial. You can add books to faster like EPUBs from your Dropbox, from your iPad, iTunes. You can go to web and grab any article to read it later using speed reading algorithms with Faster App. In our website, we have done all the how-to and explanation and also thought about a mechanism to add reading materials. <coughs> Let's do a little demo of the app. We launch the app. We have a reading list here with styles. We have both styles and list modes. Here are your reading materials. Let's open one book, Brain and Realities, for example. So first of all, we have the classical reading. It is necessary for navigation and for context. We have done all the features that are already like in iBooks. So we have all of that. It's customizable. You can change font and font size, so, so on. We have table of contents. But the real boost to your reading speed is when you go to speed reading mode. Let's do this. You tap to start. Here are two, two rows mode with several words. It probably is too fast for a beginner. But we can adjust easily the, uh, the time, how, how long the text is being shown. And of course, you can adjust the number of words to show, like starting with two words, maybe, and then going to higher setting as the main idea of speed reading is to learn to grasp as much text as possible with one site. So let's see the adding of reading materials from Dropbox, for example. So you open an EPUB book and it appears here. Faster is right after iBooks. Very good position. <laughs> we can actually do both iPub, EPUB books and any content from the, from the web, as does readability or Instapaper or so on. So we compete with these guys in some way as well. Let's go to web to, to see adding an article from the web. We will do Wall Street Journal. Uh, here, Spanish crisis deepens. Actually, the adding of an article is being done with bookmarklet. And this works the same way like it works in Pinterest, for example. But Pinterest grabs images. We do the same for text. Add it to your reading list. We go back to the app. Refresh it. And here you are. On the top, Spanish crisis deepens. It is already processed for the speed reading mode. Let's do last words. Uh, because this is, I guess, this is too much for, for our audience. Let's do two words. Two words. <laughs> yeah. You know, actually, you start with this setting. You start with this setting, it's easier. But it improves really fast. Yeah. You, you, you use it for several days, and you already can go to three words. And it is already 50% increase of your reading speed. So uh, about the testing, let's go back to our presentation. The question is, uh, is it only theory, or did we do any tests with it? And of course we did. We have 25 people to use our app for one month, and then we tracked the reading speed that they were using. And we, we can say that 
we would track an increase from 30 to 400 percent in the reading speed. Of course, it, it, it depends on the length and how heavy you are using the app and your dedication. So we decided, why not to bring it to the App Store? If it really works, it, it is good. And we put a price, 399 euro. Next week, it will be available to the App Store. For those of you who have iPads, you can go check it. And we have got some recognition already. We want with this idea to Garage 48. We got a special prize from Skype. Last week, we were in Estonia, Latitude 59, and meet with Wall Street Journal editor who loved the idea. So the app will be featured in many media, like Wall Street Journal and others, right after the release. And this is how we are going to get the downloads. This week, just today, I was to Sitcom, and we presented it there. This is our market positioning. So you can see it is like we are targeting all of them. But the best thing is that there are four main segments, like simple EPUB book readers, um, web content readers, quite several of them are already successful. There are speed reading training apps, which, which are also successful, some of them. But there's nothing here, nothing really interesting here in the speed reading, which is not just training, but an app for daily use, that you can use, train, and read your materials that you want, not some training, no, something. Our team, I can say it is star team, because we got Alexei, who is iOS developer for Accenture, leading iOS development there. We got key marketing people as Davids and Alexei. Uh, Ingus is CTO at Draugem. Anatoly is PhD in development for TSI University. I do business development, and we have Alexander as a talented UI designer. Seven people together. We see our future as bringing this up to all the other platforms like Android, Windows Phone, Kindle Fire. We can do this with the help of investment because this will let us to speed up the development. We, we really want to be the first, spread the news, we'll invest in marketing and get it to all the media that we can. We'll do Facebook application for, for marketing purposes and of course we'll need to travel a lot to, to do this, like direct sales. Um, revenue sources, of course, first of all, this is an app from, from the App Store. <coughs> Second, we are going to add in-app purchases and recurring payment from our loyal customers as we build the community around the speed reading. Thank you, and I'm glad and ready to answer your questions. Either Mr. Durr forgot to mention, what is the size of investment you're seeking? Actually, there are offers on the market around 50,000 euro for 10% of shares. But we are open to proposals because our model we see is very attractive because the later we go, the faster we can actually leave from revenue. So later we go, the less we, we, we are like so dependent on investors. So currently it's about 50,000 yes. euros. Yes. And actually, we can grow so fast, so after a year, there could be a second round, and the revenue is building really quickly. We don't need to wait, and we don't need this uncertainty period. We'll start selling in July. Okay. Questions? Uh, I would like just to ask you, do you have any any improvements that your apps are working for people? I mean, do we have any demand which you can prove yeah. by, by what? Okay, first of all, uh, two months ago, there was an app launched in App Store. It was icon app called Speed Reading Trainer. It had a number of tests and exercises for people who want to learn speed reading. Uh, it was priced like $4 and the app quickly became the most sold app in category of education in 11 countries. So the demand for speed reading is there and it is growing. The number of apps in the app store for speed reading is like below 10 and part of them are crap. So the speed reading as a market evolves and it needs a high quality solution which is not only training but also 
a solution that lets you actually read the, the literature and the, the reading that you want. I can honestly say I could become your worst enemy. Okay. Um, my question is, have you tested for comprehension? You said you tested for speed, but what about comprehension? Yeah, sure. So the comprehension test, is it's nothing new. It's already made for current speed reading competitions, which are do, done like for paper books. And it consists of tests uh, with the questions on remembering the facts and understanding the idea of the text. So what we've done with our, speed, uh, with our testers is go go through the test and answer the questions after the after they completed reading some short book. So what what we target to, we um, track and we declare only those results of speed improvement which had more than 60% of comprehension. So if the comprehension level is below 60 then by speed reading standards it's not being considered as a high enough. Um, in, in classical reading, you get something about 60 to 80 percent. You never get 100 percent. Uh, but of course, you, if you have like uh, balance between speed and comprehension, and uh, if you are not prepared for speed reading and you just put it to the highest speed, of course the comprehension will go, go down. Okay. Um. Speed reading has kind of a sordid history. Um, question is, why isn't speed reading already very popular? I mean, because everybody here has probably heard of it in one way or another. Is the only thing we've been waiting for an app? I mean, I don't mean to be rude, but I mean, we all read. Why don't we all speed read? And we all know these systems. Yes, there, there have been uh, multiple scientific approaches to speed reading. This is only one of them. Uh, methods are many. The problem, which, which I see personally about speed reading before faster app, is that usually people were doing it like this. They were participating in some speed reading courses for one week, let's say. This was giving a short time boost for the reading speed. And after that, if you don't do the courses, the speed goes down. So this was effect, short time effect from the learning the speed reading. Uh, what, what we want to do is to make this app to be used consistently, which is at the same time reading and training. We want to combine these two things, because actually well, the, well, the problem is that people are lazy to do the training all the time. Uh, I'm interested in how you come up with the idea, I mean, how, how you get this idea to do this. First of all... And, and can, how many of you dedicate your time uh, for this project? You are seven of your people. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we have different competences, and uh, there are people like doing it part time. There are people like me doing it now full time. Uh, of course, uh, our members of our team have their full time jobs, and so they they can do it only part time. Um, so all of the seven members of the team do work on the project, all in different areas. And the first question was, uh, how, how long do we do reading? No, how we come up with the idea. Uh, how we come up with the idea, okay. So th there were solutions like this for PC, which were made by a scientist or a researcher who was a person with academic background and he was not, not as as much interested in the commercial part of the thing as in the science. The solution which we found was actually working, well, that's what we like about it, but it was not convincing in terms of platform because it was like for Windows 95 or, or something, which is not really up to date. And I don't know the reason why this project discontinued for, for this uh, researcher guy, but what what we decided to do first of all to bring it to a modern platform like iPad. Desktop computer is not so good for reading because you cannot take it on the coach or something. I have a sort of practical question. After you speed read for one hour with this system, can you read a normal book? Yeah. Um, the main uh, 
the main conclusion, what we have made after testing, that reading with this style, like slides, and practicing this type of reading, it has a direct correlation with your reading speed on a normal book, on a classical style of reading and paper book. So this works like training, and actually your speed increases here and in paper book as well. And you can continue read on paper or on iPad, classical style, but with better speed. And that's why we, we in included two modes, this one and the second one. I will take my right to ask the very last question today. Uh, what's the market size? And, and think for a while, that's a very important question. You didn't, you, you didn't elaborate on the market size. Okay, you've got this 4 euro app, but what's the size of the market? Actually, can we bring this slide of competitor competition? We have positioning and some figures there. Uh, so this, so these, these are figures, yeah. I believe, yeah. not always relevant. To these what are they the do. competitors. What they declare, the, their sizes. Is, so is it what? Is it the millions the of downloads? Va value or volume or what? Dollars. Uh, millions of downloads. So oh, downloads. Okay. Yeah, in our case, millions of downloads means dollars. Uh, I mean, we, we are paid out. So, uh, what we see is that market of readers, it is huge, and there are, it is fragmented with many platforms and so on. If we just think about iPad, and we target to be as successful as some of our competitors, we speak about millions of downloads. So, it is, it is about, let's say, four, four million nine hundred ninety thousand dollars or five million dollars for iPad. If we target all the reading platforms, it's about 50 million, I guess. Okay, thank you. Yeah.